Yeah, I'm going back. I think it will get a bit messy, but it's up to you. It's fine. The issue here is, is, is tawassul shirk? Now, the question we ask, what do you mean by tawassul? Because tawassul has different meanings. We believe the conditions for tawassul is three. The person is alive, he's present, and he's able to do what you're asking him to do. If one of these is not present, then tawassul is not allowed. So, to say, for example, you're Ali, according to us, is shirk. Why? Because you are asking someone for something. I'm really sorry, guys. Okay, so, no, no, no. okay, so we're talking about tawassul, yeah? So obviously, tawassul, according to us, is very different from you. We believe that tawassul can come different ways and shapes and forms. Some of it is allowed, others is not. We believe that in order for tawassul to be allowed, you need three conditions. The person is present, yeah? That uh, he's alive and he's able to do what you're asking him to do. If a person now comes and says, well, I believe that to I'm say, Ya Ali, Ya Hassan, Ya Hussein, Ya Fatima, you know what? this is allowed. That's and this is not considered to be shirk because we don't worship the person. We only use this person in order to come close to Allah. Yes, is that correct? Is that, is that, is that correct? Yes. Now, the problem with this is that this, this, this argument goes against the Quran itself because this is exactly what the Mushrikun of the Quraysh used to do. You see, the, the, the pagans of the Quraysh, they used to believe in Allah. Can I respond yeah? to your first point? Just, let, let, me, let me just finish. Yeah? Okay. The pagans of the Quraysh, they used to believe in Allah. They testified for the Rububiyah of Allah, His Lordship. Where they deviated was in the Uluhiyah of Allah. Yeah, his worship. So they would, for example, call upon other deities in order to come close to Allah. But essentially, they always worship Allah and they believe in Allah. Yeah. So now, what is the proof that tawassul, according to you, is haram? Allah says in the Quran. I will say again. Audo bilam na shaitan rajim. Allah says, "Wa yabduuna min dun Allah ma la yadurhum wa la yanfaahum wa yaquluna ha ula ishufaahuna inda Allah." قل أتنبئون الله بما لا يعلم في السماوات ولا في الأرض سبحانه وتعالى عما يشركون. Allah says and they worship things besides Allah that does not benefit or harm them. But they say these are just our intercessors, meaning the pagans of Quraysh never used to believe that the deities they were asking upon had the ultimate authority. They knew and they affirmed that Allah Azza wa Jal had the ultimate authority. I believe is in... Um, uh, can I take you context of that verse? That's fine. Do you think I could just cut off this first point and then you can go on to that, that point? Yeah, don't fight us. You're losing weight after you? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Are you holding your belly? I, I, I'm, I'll stop eating uh, chips. It's Surah Yunus, chapter uh, 10, verse 18. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, sh should, we, should we read it again? Please. Allah says, وَيَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ وَيَقُولُونَ هَاؤُلَاءِ شُفَعَاؤُنَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Yeah, they say, Allah says, they worship things besides Allah which does not benefit or harm them. And they say, these are just our intercessors with Allah. Perfect. Yeah? <laughs> Allah says, say, do you inform Allah of that which He does not know? Okay. Yeah? And in the heavens, glorified and exalted is he above what they ascribe to him as partners. So now, a couple of points. The ayah, the ayah. Can we deal with the first few points and come back to it? Right, right. I'd just like to respond to your first point. Yeah. First point, you mentioned three conditions which must be present yeah. for you to use uh, any kind of wasil. Yeah. Alive? Live. Present. Present. And able to do it. Able to do it. Yeah. I want to introduce you to the hadith of Man ibn Hunayf. Are you familiar? Uh, read the up blind me. man of the Prophet. No. The blind man who came to the Prophet and said, I am blind. I need I need you to help me. The Prophet said to him, mm. Yes, go home. Perform wudu. Pray two rakat of prayers. 
and use Rasulullah as a wasila. I really want to use the exact wording. He says, I, I, O Prophet, by your name, heal my eyes. In terms of your free conditions here, the Prophet wasn't present. He went back home and can, can you Can you bring out the, the hadith? Yeah. Okay, it's quite famous. I don't, um, I'll try and find the reference for it. If you don't know, because I have to check and, and at the end, he said, if you have a need, I believe it's in Tirmidhi. Let's, let's, let's look, because now everything in Tirmidhi is Sahih, you know that? Yeah, that's fine, you can reject it, I'm just presenting yeah, it for the that's hadith. Fine. No, but you, you have to obviously use something which is authentic, yeah? Of course. Because if it's not authentic, then you can't use it against That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean hadith? Believe in the Quran the hadith. Tens. But the hadith is not 100% perfect. Tens of uh, scholars. Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. Okay, could be. Where is the Iman? I'm trying to find this one, bro. Iman me Allah. Iman me Allah. Why when I say to you, okay, go back to uh, this Surah? There's common sense. There's common sense. What? In the Quran. By the way, uh, you know, like before we go to the hadith, That's fine. could you please so why don't give you your understanding uh, of the ayah? I'm going to go to each uh, point. Okay, you because because I just wanted to target your Because you know, I would, I would want to target that one. Yeah condition that you made that he was present yes my first question to you is where did you get these conditions from and in this hadith it proves that one of your conditions is false so this hadith was in Tirmidhi yes I've gone to Google uh, I usually like to go to my books I'm not sure which website this is on it's in Tirmidhi I'm sure it's in Tirmidhi and it's been authenticated Sheikh Asrar mentioned this in a debate with uh, the person he debated for four hours and he accepted this hadith Sheikh Asrar is not my Sheikh no he debated one of the Salafi scholars that's why but and he accepted that this hadith was authenticated who, who who did it? His opponent, uh, Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan. Abdul Rahman Hassan? Yes. Okay. And he accepted in the Tawassal of this. It's in Tirmidhi. Uh, I've gone to Google, but I don't want to trust this. Can I, can I, can I? I don't want to trust an uh, unknown source, but okay. it's there. I'd okay. rather you go to the head. I will, okay, what I'll do, okay, what I'll do, I will look into it. Okay. We'll look into it. Yeah. Right. But my point is that invalidates one of your conditions that he must be president, because he told him to go back home. And okay. Again, but obviously we can't discuss it unless, unless I read it first. Well, I'll, I'll have to look at it. My first question to you is, where did you get these three conditions from? Second point was, you said, I want to bring one ayah from the Quran. You said that. Could you uh, present the ayat of the Quran which you mentioned, please? Yes, yeah, in the Surah Yunus, Yunus verse 18. 18. And they serve beside Allah, which can neither harm nor profit them. And you said it yourself. They worship other than Allah. They worship. Yeah. So in our classification of a seerah, we never worship Rasulullah. Okay, but that's what the Quran. I, I, so they're worshiping other besides Allah. No, 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 so once no. they do that, we are agreed no, no, that you are not allowed. Wait, wait. Let me respond to. Okay, you can come back. That's to fine, that's fine. So they, the verse says they worship them. Our claim is that you should never worship them. You worship Allah. Yes. You could use them as a wasilah. Yes. Now, you a accept it. Exactly. It's, 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 if you choose to do it, you do it. If you don't choose to do it, you don't do it. it doesn't it's make permissible. You Muslim it's permissible. permissible. But then, according to some Muslims, if you do it, you're, you're kafir. That's what we say. Yes. And we have references where people came. I gave you one of them in terms of the hadith. And I'll go to I'll present to, to you a Quranic ayat as well. Surah 4, verse 64. Mm. Okay, before 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 go to another surah. Let me just finish all the points. Let, and then you can okay, review okay, each one. Okay. And we did not send any apostle, but that he should be obeyed by Allah's permission. Mm. And had they when they were unjust to themselves, come to you, in reference to Prophet, come to you and ask for forgiveness of Allah. So who did they come to, to ask forgiveness of Allah? Rasulullah. And you accept it whilst he's alive, you're allowed to. Yes. My question to you is, where do you get these three conditions from? Mm. Prove that those three conditions can be in place. But can I also just make a quick comment on the ayah? The key point to this ayah is a lot of people quote this, yeah, and they don't understand it. The Kufar of Quraysh at, at that time, they, they recognized Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You agree with me? They, Allah was the high God, that's what they said. And the Prophet came to bring back that worship. But they also thought Lat, Uza, Manat could independently benefit. So they thought that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is up there, we can't get through to Allah, Asad. so we're going to worship the separate well, gods. So they believe obviously that Allah Azawajal was the one that created heavens and earth. Yes. yes. Yeah? And that uh, we know that in terms of uh, distress, they would call upon Allah alone without any uh, no, no, no. Yeah, Some of them yeah? did, some, some did, but some others used yeah. this okay. inter or So yeah. my point was that that ayah to present it, it says okay. we were worshipping other than God. Yeah, but Worship. listen, no, no, you see, we don't accept the independence. No, yes, in, look, the independence. They had independence. You remember, you believe it's independent. So you remember, this is the position yeah. and Ashari position and Shia position, you, Maturidi position yeah. is unanimous. We agree with each other in terms of wasila. You can't call upon anyone other than God yes. if you believe that they are independent of God. 
Yeah. Yes. But yes. Baba, you see, what I said to you before, yeah, and I said this initially, I said that of okay, course... You can, you can go through each point okay. one by one. No, the look, conditions? The conditions? The conditions? The conditions? The, the is, Quranic ayat okay. is bloody. The conditions, if okay. you want, for example, me to give you the exact quote and reference of where exactly the conditions come from, I can't say that. All I know where is Where did you get the condition from no. is what I'm asking. Th this is not amongst the scholars, yeah? The ulama, this is, they, see, they this is, this is wait, the position wait, wait, of the Salafi scholars. Wait, wait, let me finish. I'll let you speak and I'll let me speak, yeah? Okay, sorry. Now, we stick to the Quran because obviously if I give you the name of the scholars or the hadith it will come from my books, it won't come from your books so there's no point of me trying to convince you of these conditions because the sources I will pull out is from my books so it's not hujjah upon you let us discuss, let us discuss about what the ayah says yeah, in Surah Yunus, chapter 18. That's because fine. the ayah in itself is can crystal clear. Can, 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 can I just finish quickly? Yeah? Sorry. The ayah in itself is crystal clear that Allah is saying, they worship things. They worship things besides Allah, which does not benefit or harm them. But they say, now listen to this, they say, these are just our intercessors. Now, of course, you or I don't know, maybe the Baba, uh, which position he takes. Of course, that you believe this is not shirk and that you're not worshipping the Pir Sab or uh, Abdul Qadir Jilani or Imam Ali or Imam Hussein, whoever you call upon. Of course, you don't, in your heart, you don't do it with the intention that you are worshipping them. Of course. But the, the point here is, Baba. That Allah Himself has said this is shirk. Okay. It's not according to me, according to you. No, it is it's according to you, bro. That's no, a, because wait, 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 wait. Look, look, brother. look. Let me let me just finish yeah, right yeah. Okay. When Allah says, "Wa yabduna min duni Allah ya la ya dhurhum wa la ya faahum wa yaqulun ha ulai shufa'un in Allah." These are just our intercessors, which is exactly what you're saying. Okay. Exactly what you're saying. So Allah is saying that you are worshipping these deities and plus we have a hadith, famous hadith where Nabi Muhammad SAW says Ad-du'a huwa ibadah that du'a is worship and you probably know this hadith as well, yeah? Famous hadith So we know that supplicating is an act of ibadah is an act of ibadah So when I go, Ya Fatima, Ya Hussein, Ya, ya, ya Ali this is worship Now intentionally yes i'm not doing it i believe that you know ali is god yes no shia says this unless you're one of those musayiris alawis yeah i believe that if ashari they don't directly intend to worship allah but the standard that we use yeah is the quran now the quran nowhere in the quran does it give you the allows you to call upon anyone else but Allah Azza wa Jal. Fair enough. I'd like to respond to that. Yes. So now you've said two things which are conflict of interest. On one hand, you're saying that you are allowed to do a seed at the time of Prophet so long as the three conditions are present. On the other hand, you're also saying that you're not allowed to do it, period. No answer. You're saying that when they done it, they were doing it with the intention that they were worshipping God. No, no, I'm saying that uh, for it to be allowed, Tawassal to be allowed, yeah, is that it needs to meet the conditions like I just mentioned. But it's not under those conditions then it falls it's, under then then it would fall under obviously that I but mean, isn't shirk always shirk shirk is always shirk yes so why was it allowed in the time of the prophet and why did it become shirk after what are you talking about shirk before, before? We're talking, you said that the position here yeah. is it's wrong it's deviated yeah. are you talking about the hadith Sorry? Well, I mean, what are you talking about the time of the Prophet? So you said in the time of the Prophet, yeah? you could use a wasila so long as the three positions, the three uh, conditions were present. Okay, are you talking about the hadith about the old man that came? Yes. In general, you could use, yes, in yeah. terms of that specific hadith, okay. he used the Prophet as a wasila. Okay, but okay. Prophet was, was and present. And the Salafi position is yeah? that so long as these three conditions are present, mm. you are allowed to do that. Go to the Prophet and ask him to make dua for you, to supplicate for you. Yeah. Yes? Yes. So, and now you're saying, Salafi position is once he has passed away. I'm not, I'm not talking about Salafi position. Yeah. Are you not representing I'm Salafi's saying, position here? I, I'm, a, I'm a Muslim. Okay. I'm a Sunni Muslim. Do you agree with that position? I'm a Sunni Muslim. I'm humbly. Do you agree I'm, with that position? With what? That the person is present, live, alive, and able to do it? Yeah. Yeah. The three yes. yes. So the person who came to the Prophet, the blind man who came to the Prophet, yeah. and asked him and made and used to say the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a wasila. Yeah. That's allowed. I have to read the hadith first. Okay. Like but said, in general, yeah. is it allowed? For what? Like Surah four verse. 64, when they had come to you, if I come to you, you for forgiveness. yeah, if I come to you and I say, what's your name by the way? Zane. Zane. Zane, please make dua for me. This is allowed. Yeah, it's allowed. Yes. If I ask, 
Zayn, if I even call you, you're not a present. Zayn, please, make dua for me. So, he are, we are saying we yeah. can be using as a seal up in the sense that our Prophet, yes? Mm. I asked you by now, the light of today, your status, in the time of the Prophet, for example, yeah. it, for your, the status that you have with Allah, I ask for you, I ask you Allah in your name. Okay. The, is okay. this allowed? This is, three conditions this is a bidah. We, do, we don't say this shit is bidah. Salafis do not say this. They say the three conditions must be present. Even okay. they do not say which no, one no. you're if you're, if you're If you're saying to me, for example, maybe I'm, my, I misunderstood you. Are you saying that if I say, for example, Oh Allah, I ask you upon the name of your Prophet. Is that, is that what you're talking yes, about? Yes, by the status of your Prophet. Okay, this we don't say shit. This but is a bidah. But because this is a shirk. Shirk. even if the preconditions are present, they say this is a shirk. They say it's shirk. Even but if the Allah, preconditions are listen, present. As far as I know, that the person. So you, what is allowed when the preconditions are present? So I can understand what. Like you're I said, the person is alive. He's present. What is allowed upon those conditions? What, if you, if, if I come to you. And I said, for example, you said when can the prophets you, are alive and those three conditions are present. Yeah. I'm asking you, yeah. which form of a seal is allowed? Dua, dua. You could do dua on any man. Yeah. yeah, anything. For example, any tabas. For example, if I say to you, can you pass me a water? Yeah. You're there. You're able. You pass me the water. You understand? Yeah. This is a form. If I, if I, if I, if you're not present now, just, just an example. Yes. Are you able to do it yes. to give me water? Yeah. If you're not present, are you able to give me water? Of course. If you're not, excuse me. If you're not present, yeah, sorry. are you able to give me the water if you're not present? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you saying no or yes? Sorry. Say, say again. Sorry. Yeah, I'm saying if I ask you for a favor yes. and you're not present, are you able to do it for me? No. Okay. Now, so likewise, we say, look, for, it, for Tawasa to be uh, established and allowed, okay. these three conditions Let have to be Let me be there. very clear mm. as, to what I'm uh, as to what Wasila is, what, which mm. Wasila I'm referring to. I'm referring to the hadith of the blind man, which is intermedi mm. and authenticated by Salafi scholars. Yes. He's, but the, the thing is, said, go away, yeah. back to your house, mm. perform wudu, yeah. the two rakat prayers, and mm. say, and let me use the exact wording so I'm not being wrong. Again, you still have to ask the uh, ayah, because Sorry. you so can't, you that's can't, that's no, 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 let's, he let's, said, let's, oh, prophet, yeah. in your because, name. No, he because, the ayah, so look, I give you the ayah, yes. we put up the ayah, yeah. now I have to read the hadith, because yeah. I have to go through yeah. it, yeah. after the, the commentary, what, you understand, the ayah of Surah Yunus, chapter, verse 18, okay, well Allah Azza wa himself says, that to call upon intercessors is the act of shirk and you are worshipping them. Yes. Yes. No, it didn't say to call upon them. And they, were, and they called and they, upon them. And they were worshipping them. Yes. No, no, but they, no, no, but they said these are just for intercessors. Okay. So they, so they, they, just one second, they weren't, they weren't directly worshipping these uh, but no, idols. No, worshipers prove that they were using wasila in the way I have described in terms of the blind man. That's the key point. That's the key point. Okay. So where's your proof for that? that that's, that's irrelevant. No, 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 because depending on what they were no, doing, the point is, it depends on what they were do doing. That's, that's so mere speculation. That's mere speculation. You have to explain we can, what they were doing. Look, were they worshipping them, believing that they were independent from God? Or were they using the wasila like no, the blind man? They wouldn't believe that they were independent of God. We knew, we know from the Quran, that even the pagan, the, yeah, the do, mushrikun No, that's our claim, they are So prove okay. that they were doing it independently. So you're saying that they are mushrikun yes. That's the thing, right So this is a really important discussion I think because yeah. they say people But are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying that the mushrikun of, of Quraysh Yes Did not affirm Rububiyah Exactly, that's they, exactly they, they didn't They didn't okay, And that's the key point So here's what I'm saying Let's yeah? look at it It's a key point because this is a This might be a small discussion here in the park But around the world it has profound effects Because there are some people mm. who believe that if someone is out of Islam, if they do a sila or they do the wassal, um, and, and the effect on that has is that that person, their women can be raped, you know, their places can be destroyed, they can be taken into slavery, etc. So we need to get this clear. Now, a lot of this stuff stems from, and we have to call a spade a spade. According to Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Wahab, in nullifiers of the deen, this is one of the points of aqidah of the Salafis, that if anyone calls other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we agree with, uh, that's the first point. But then they say if you go to, uh, if you believe in intercession, then that takes you out of Islam. We don't say that. Basila, uh, sorry. Uh, as a Hanafi, uh, as a Maturidi, even the Ashuris, according to all school of Madhab, this was never the case. Even even Taimiyah Rahim Allah didn't even say that, yeah? Mm. So the point is, the first, the, what you quoted earlier in the Quran, um, I used to be Salafi by the way, so I, I, I've got a little bit of experience. When I researched this, I realized it's not the Rububiyyah that they affirm. 
can I can I can I can also yeah, 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 okay, so, yeah. what the what the Quraysh and the Kufar of the time they thought that these so deities Manat, Lat, or Uzza could independently benefit them uh, independently. So they would ask them and then they would ask them uh, independently. They thought they had their own kingdom. Do you understand? Okay. So they thought you could go to uh, these people and so, ask them all these sort of deities. Right. So, so uh, you you made a claim, brother, yes. that uh, the pagans did not affirm the glory of Allah. Is that, is that correct? Okay. So how do you answer, for example, the ayah in uh, Surah 61? Sorry, 29, verse 61, when Allah says, if you were to ask them who created the heavens and earth and subjected the moon and the sun, they will surely say Allah. How then are they deviating? As polytheists and disbelievers. That's what I'm saying. They believed yeah. in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala initially. They all believed in Allah. They all yeah. believed Allah was the high, what they called the sky god. But they thought that Allah was so far away, the, a deistic god. That's what they believed in. So they believed you needed uh, independent kingdoms to go to through to, um, to Allah. Subhanahu wa so they would worship yeah. the Lord independently. They would worship Manat. Can, can I ask you a proof for that? I mean, where, yeah. uh, have you got any, like, um, I mean, uh, where, where do you get that? Academic research, bro. <laughs> can, can you give me some? Um, because because the thing is, I mean, when anyone who reads the Quran here, yeah. it can clearly see. If I could just use yeah. that as a proof, I can't give you the exact proof of that. Yeah. But Sheikh Asura mentions it clearly in this debate. Even though they may pronounce the words. In the debate between Abdul Rahman Hassan. Abdul Rahman Hassan. Yeah, right, yeah. Even if they pronounce the words, they 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 are to be honest, in their words. No, I'm not I'm, I'm not saying Let to be finish. biased, but yeah. honestly, I mean, I think that debate you shouldn't use that debate. No, as no, a, as I'm a, giving you his point of view yeah, yeah. As, as a plus, as, yeah. as a prominent yeah. Sunni, uh, yeah. uh, as a prominent Sunni scholar. Yeah. I'm giving you his point of view on the topic. He says, yes, they may confirm it, but they do not believe in it. Like the Munafiq says, I'm a Muslim, but he's a Munafiq. That's he's a claim that you have to be able to back up. You what, see, sorry? I mean, no, no, my point is that yeah. these people are claiming that Allah is one God, but they're not sincere. So even though he may say it, he does Again, not believe it. You, that, that's a claim that you're making. Allah says, if you were to ask them who created the heavens and earth and subjugated the moon and, 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 and the sun, they said Allah. So they affirmed the Rububiyah. Yeah, of course. You said, you said, you said no. no. Okay. different strands within it. The Bukhar. You said that they didn't affirm the Rububiyah. No, what I'm saying yeah. is Rububiyah has different strands. It's yeah. not just, you know that as well. Yeah. No, can I just dissect just one point? Yeah. Yeah. At the start, I said that they, uh, they worship Allah, but then I said they had independence. That's always been my case. Okay. Just that's just for the camera. So. Just one point. The point of ikhtilaf is you're saying it is allowed to use a wasila. For example, you are allowed to use wasila, like the blind man did, so long as the free conditions are present. It's fine then. Then you say it becomes shirk after the Prophet passes away. We argue, yes, as, Shuni, as, as a Shia and also Orthodox Sunnis, argue that shirk is always shirk. It does not become shirk. Sorry? Shirk is always shirk. It does not become shirk. So you can, one, you have to just. Is there, is there, is there, is there, is there a different shirk? Let me just finish. Let me just, just finish. The three conditions that you presented, you have to justify why they're there and where you got them from. And we argue shirk is always shirk. It doesn't become shirk. That's all. So can I ask you a question? Go on. Do you believe prostrating to anyone else but Allah is shirk? Yes or no? Yes. So when Allah, so when Allah, so when Allah ordered the the angels to prostrate, ordered Iblis to prostrate to Adam. Yes. Uh, and the angels. Yes. Did the angels commit shirk when they did that? No. So we believe that it was allowed, but yes. Sayyidina so Rasulullah. So it wasn't always. Let me finish. It was allowed, for example, the ayah that you just presented, and it's actually an argument for our own beliefs. The angels prostrated towards Adam. Iblis became kafir on account of not prostrating. Okay. But so that was when, not, when they prostrated. It's a big topic. Please yeah. allow me to elaborate. Yeah, yeah. So when they prostrated to Adam, that was not worship. They were worshipping God, they were respecting Adam. Yes. So this is an argument for our own. But remember what I said. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because I think you're That's fine, but can let me just finish the point. Opinion? Can I give you a second opinion? Yeah. Yeah. So there was different shirias. So we know past things in the shirias, they yes. were allowed, some weren't allowed. So shirk, shirk changes? No, one second. So, so say that shirk, shirk is always shirk. Say that our Rasulullah stopped it. But you said shirk is always shirk. Shirk, okay. is, so. shirk is what we believe. But in that case, it wasn't shirk. How so? Okay, you said shirk is always shirk for all times. I said, so what about Allah ordered Adam, sorry, ordered Iblis and the angels to prostrate to Adam? Yes. Was that shirk? You said no. No. So shirk isn't always shirk? Yes. Yes or no? no so you're shirk. wrong on that. Let me clarify my position. Yeah. When they prostrated before Adam, the angels had the belief 
that they were doing it out of respect of Allah because they don't have no free will. This command. They don't have free will, by the way. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Now, Sayyidina Rasulullah came said, "You are not allowed to do this." Now, there are two types of sajda. Yes, yes. shukr and ibadah. Ibadah. Yes. Thank you. If today, that's what after I mean. the Prophet stopped it, sub, uh, sajda is shukr. Yes. Is what? Yes. So if I prostrate towards you now yeah. and I do it of shukr, it's bid'ah. It's bid'ah. It doesn't yeah. make you a kafir. True. If I do such that, yeah. ibadah, ibadah, then I'm a kafir. kafir. kafir yeah. So yeah. once I did the words okay. of shukr, right. the such that is shukr yes. came non allowed. Right. Such that ibadah okay, was fine. always shukr. And that's it. never allowed. I accept it. That's fine. Okay, no problem. So does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So because I think maybe you, um, I should have made it clear more clear to you. But uh, since you so such that ibadah was always shirk. Yes. Such that shukr. Shukr. That's fine. That became no stopped. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's good. But you knew the answer. Yeah, I knew. So you testing. I'm telling you. That's good. You knew that. That's good. That's good. That's good. You're testing. So that's good. At least okay. We got to establish that. That's good. Oh yeah. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So the point here is, Baba, is that. I believe that the ayah in Surah Yunus verse 18 Allah Azza wa Jal makes, makes a very clear statement that when you call upon anyone else beside him it's an act of shirk and you're worshipping this deity other now than him. Other, other than him other but, but, but that's still shirk it's still shirk and it's still yes. kufr yeah? yes. that's so not opposition the best <laughs> I'm sure it's not yeah, I'm not I'm not misrepresenting you but we're saying that according to the Quran it is and what look is sorry? that to call upon anyone else but Allah is shirk. Yeah? We look at the niyat of the person. So if the person is, like I said, intention is what differentiates everyone. Okay. If they are calling we, upon look, them, we, in a sense, like you said, such that shukr was of two types. Yes. Yes, yes they were both wrong, but one of them makes you a kafir, one of them makes you deviate. True. Yes? True. True. So, like, but, we do the same thing with this. Are but, they calling upon them? That, it depends on but their but that, that's, that's not a uh, thing that you can apply to all situations. For, uh, Correct. I'll give you an example. But my, you still haven't answered my original question. What's if that? it was shirk, it's always shirk. So why are you saying under those three? Where, where, it's shirk, one, shirk. where did you get those three conditions from? Okay, but according to Wakar, let, let me finish. the Sharia changes. Huh? No, no. <laughs> two points. Yeah. Where did you get those three conditions from? Okay. Question number two, shirk is always shirk. Why do you say shirk after the Prophet passed away and not for those people who done it in his life? Okay. Those before, are my two okay. main questions. Right, but with all due respect, you still didn't answer my question, which is according to the ayah, do you accept when Allah says, that when you call upon intercessors, yes. you are worshipping that deity. Do you accept that? No. Depends on the intention. So when they done it, they were believing in their mind that all that those people were independent from Allah. But I established you in the And even if they proclaim it, they do not mean it. So like when a monarchic says I'm a Muslim, yeah. uh, I'm a Muslim, he's a monarchic. So even he might how claim Rububiyah. Okay, Baba, how do you know finish. how do you know it's what the intention was? Please let me finish. Yeah. Even though they make might claim Rububiyah, Shaykh Asram even mentions this very delicate point. He says it in a beautiful way. He says what? Even though they may proclaim Rububiyah, they were not in their hearts were not sincere in that. Right. So they weren't really proclaiming it, even though they might say it. Right. Now now, my question to you is how are you able to establish what their intention was? We don't know. We give it, we do. Okay. We Unless they that. clarify their position. You. Thank you. We Unless can't. they clarify can't. their position. Right. So, but so if I say Ya I, Ali, okay, but so if I do, say Ya you, Ali for example now, no. or Ya Rasulullah Madad, there's two meanings of this. No. I could be saying, Oh Rasulullah, help me. Yes? You alone help me, don't forget about Allah. I want to call upon you. Shirk. When you oh, say Rasulullah, I'm using as a right. wasila like the blind man did in the in the hadith. And that's the it's fine. So right. if someone says that you can't say shirk, Is that, okay. you have to establish that's what he means. So that we don't do it independently. Right. We don't ask you. So, okay, let's let's okay, let's 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 establish what your intention is now when you say your Ali. Okay. Explain to us your intention when you when you say that, what you mean. Okay. When I say Ya Ali, for example, mm. or when other Orthodox Sunnis or Shia say it, we say in a sense, Oh Ali, by your prominent position next to Allah, yes, by your name, help you. Yes, that's it. Okay. So, okay. Is that for all Shias or you or you personally? No, that's our consensus. We cannot believe that when we are calling upon these intercessors, no. and they have to be the right intercessors. Yes, we cannot believe that they are independent of God. So if I said, and we for cannot example, believe that they are acting independently from God. Exactly. What about if I said, Your Ali, Madad? What does that mean? Okay. Linguistically, like said, yeah. linguistically, Oh Ali, help me. Okay. Yes. Now, so now like, like I said, it's the more of the person. Right. The, yes, exactly. It's a more broad statement. It has to be dissected and yes. understood what exactly does he mean. Right. Is he using in terms of his status? In right. which case, even for your own sex, you could distinguish between people who might become for one person who might be saying Ya Ali Madad. Does he mean it in terms of Oh Allah, Oh Ali, help me through the uh, right. thing? You classify as bidah. 
right. if he's saying Brother, only healthy, can I ask you a question? Yeah? Of God, do you, you do you it's right. Do you believe it's allowed to slaughter a uh, animal, for example, in a Hindu temple? To slaughter an animal in yeah. a Hindu temple? Are you are you talking about like uh, in terms of the, what we do and eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. for example, yeah. I'm not sure on the thicky ruling. Really? I assume it's not. I assume it's not, but I mean it's a thicky masail. Um, yeah. It's considered to be shirk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even even uh, according to Shias. Okay. It probably maybe is. But what about if I make the argument? But my intention is not to sacrifice to the idols in a temple. Is well, I'm just for Allah. my narrations through Hadith and Quran. My point is, in the al has a context. Yeah. So we judge upon the apparent. I cannot look into your heart. What you mean? What well, even you? Do, what you mean? You, you still the Salafi position is that when somebody says Ya Ali Madad, we must distinguish as to what he means. So we both make the same argument. Okay, but the thing is, okay. So Our if position is if you say Ya Ali Madad, okay. Now say for example, you are saying Ya Ali Madad. I'm coming asking you, Baba. What do you mean by that? Okay. Explain to me what you mean by that. I already explained. So Ali, by your position, yes, by your position next to Allah. Yeah. Allah help him. But you're saying Allah, Ya Ali, okay, but why don't you say that directly? Why do you and make it ambiguous? And even Ustad Abdul Rahman in his debate, he says we must as ascertain what does Ya Ali Madad mean? Yeah. Are we saying Ya O Ali or are we, what does it mean? Yeah. So if someone was to say and literally I Ya Ali... I think you are making the same argument no, no. that Sunnis uh, as Shias and all Salafi the reason, rectify the reason I'm what asking, the Prophet means. The reason why I'm asking you this, yes. there are many Sunnis who might be be confused about this very good and it, they don't understand it is, it is what you mean when you say that yeah it's quite problematic in yeah the sense it, that, is, okay, it is that's why linguistically, right. it that's mean, why i'm oh, asking oh, you this oh, question oh, me. because so you can clarify the way, a, for people what yes, they mean what, what you mean because we, we, we don't want to misrepresent you you understand Perfect. but would you agree with me if for example someone said ya ali madad and he literally means ya ali whatever you, like in the barzakh come help me would that be shirk yes, yes. or no Thank you. The point here now is this. How do you then differentiate between a Shia who has that intention, which you had, that you are doing it as a kind of tawassul, which you mentioned that oh Allah, by Ali's virtue and status, do such and such for me. His intention. His intention. Just like Sujda Ishakur and, okay. and, like and, and Sujda Ibadah right. exactly. is attention. tension. But, but there see, are some ignorant people yeah, that do do but that. See, this I simply would yeah, tell right. some ignorant people I that do graves, Look, they do tawaf and I stuff totally like. respect but, that. But yes. we have to clarify I'm there. happy that you say that. Yes. I'm very happy that yes. you say that. And I hope any yes. Shia or any Sokha Sunni that does call upon others and Allah, who do the tawaf in their graves, who goes to the grave and call, which I've seen with my own eyes. I've seen it myself. My own. I remember as a child, when I lived in Iran, I, my parents took me to the grave of Khomeini. I saw with my own eyes people at the graveyard of Khomeini asking Khomeini directly to aid their sickness, to give them sustenance. With my own eyes, I remember as a child of seeing course, this. Of course, you might find certain extremes in terms of what the people do. No, but brother, but look. My point, like I said, no, no, but if look, you say Ya Ali Madad, with all due respect, but we don't call him look, I know, I know, look, look, brother, with all due respect, I'm not, I'm not, just, sorry, just quickly. Sure. I'm not saying, yeah, that every single Shia or Sufi does this, yeah, that okay. they commit shirk, they are kuffar. But I'm saying, within the Shias at least, I don't know, I don't know much about Sufism, so I can't, I can't talk about Sufism, but with Shias in particular, this is very common, Baba. What, very, very common, common sorry. that they call upon the Ahl Bayt. We like don't care what Hassan, uh, your so own, even Hassan, Hussein Ali, mainly. Do, they, don't, they don't call upon Hassan. That's mainly. right. Your own personal subjective experiences is, is irrelevant. We are talking about what our scholars say regarding the issue. Mm. I've given you the Shia position. It's logical and I felt like it's got logical sound reasoning to what every question you've asked. So how about the Dua of Fatima? How, how, about, how about the Dua of Fatima? Have you... Oh, the Dua of Fatima? Have you... Have you... Have you read it? Sorry. You guys are going to Shia... So you know... Uh, salary. <laughs> I'm not yeah. getting more, bro. Can we, can we just go, can we go to Quran and Hadith though? Yeah, well, I think, I think I'm going to yeah. chew off just one second. I think we've dissected most of the topic in depth. Okay. No, no, no. I don't think you, we have. I don't think we've which got to topic the point where we haven't covered. We, uh, like from the early opinion of al Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we believe that we're body and we're soul. We believe our body might be here, but our soul continues. In the Barzakh, yeah. In the Barzakh, yeah. yeah. So we believe through the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that soul can benefit in, in the sense that... Can, 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 can you give us an example? So, 
For example, uh, when there was a drought at the time of Sayyidina, um, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was Sayyidina um, Umar radiallahu ta'ala and Aisha radiallahu ta'ala who said that you need to go to the grave of the Prophet and make a, a hole and make a thing. So when they did that, rain started coming. So that's one thing. Um, there's other narrations where Sayyidina Abbas radiallahu ta'ala and I accept that he was alive and so but Sayyidina Umar called him and said make the wa for the people. So there, there, yes. there's another yes. uh, uh, thing. There's, um, there's, a, there's something about Imam Bukhari as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. That was someone, there was the, the river dried up. I think it was the Nile River. And it said, go to the Nile River, go to Imam Bukhari's grave and ask Imam Bukhari, put this letter in, in the grave of Imam Bukhari. And then suddenly the Nile River rose up. So there's many narrations like these. Now again, is it authentic? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I, from my research, yeah. that it, it is. Okay. Um, but you know, I mean, but this is, but our position this, is that this you don't is why do it, but, but this don't is why we are non-believers if you do this it. This is why I always stick to the Quran first and foremost. Yes, that's fine. Al al although we as Sunnis, we classify ourselves to be Ahl Hadith. We accept the Hadith is authentic. Whether it goes against our logic or not, we accept it. We don't question it. Yeah? We don't apply logic to, to a lot of things. Yeah? We accept the Hadith what it says by face value. Unless, 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 unless there's, there's, a, there's a evidence or a kind of explanation from the Prophet or his companions to suggest otherwise. Yeah. Robert, I think it was a really good debate. Uh, the only two points I would like to uh, yeah. conclude. You mentioned the free conditions. Where have you got those free conditions from? Yeah. And also, you said they are allowed so long as the Prophet's alive. I will get, uh, in terms of the way yeah. the blind man done it, but the Prophet must have those free conditions. Right. Where did you get those free conditions from? Question okay. number one. And also, shirk is always shirk. Why does it become shirk after the Prophet passes away? Okay. Question number That's two. That's fine. Now, uh, brother, it's an excellent discussion. Okay, I wanted to discuss uh, the Gifa with you. We can do that separately. No problem. Yes. Next, next time, can I can I just um, ask you uh, about the ayah? Surah Yunus verse 18 okay. that you said when I said to you do you accept that when Allah Allah is saying in this ayah that when you call upon emphasis this is kufr and it's an act of shirk you said no yeah I said that they would you were saying what their niyat was we had ikhtilaf on their niyat you were saying that they I was saying that they were doing it in the sense that they believed that the people who they were interceding to were independent to God right Sorry. I, but, I don't okay. know how that opinion. But, okay. And like no. you said, they were playing. I would like. I would like. Right. No, I would like. I gave you the point. That even no if problem. they were proclaiming Rububiyah, right. it doesn't matter what they say. For example, okay. the Manafik says I'm a Muslim. No, I would like you, Baba. I would like you for your homework, the same way you gave me your homework. <laughs> I want you to bring me that evidence where you get that from. No, why are you assuming that their intention was that they were calling them? Oh, sorry, I'm not. I'm not independent of. I'm not assuming anything. We had I'm take, on opinion. I'm taking the ayah yes. at face value. They said they were which praying. They said they were worshiping people other than God. That's what the ayah. Because and they said they replied. Well, they were worshiping them. No, no, no. Surah Yunus, ten eighteen. Ten eighteen. They said these are all intercessors. So but what they were doing? When what were they doing, brother? They were calling upon them as intercessors. They were worshiping them. Right. The Quran says they were worshiping them. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no. Look, we have already established from the from the uh, chapter sixty nine that the the pagans of the Mushrikun they affirmed Rububiya. So they use the deities as intercessors. Okay. So they will call upon them, or Allah, or Al Uzza, or whatever idol they were, they were calling upon. They always affirm the Rububi of Allah. Okay. So when Allah says in Surah Yunus, verse 18, uh, 16, 69, 69, uh, 61, sorry. Uh, yeah. It's basically. So, uh, Surah Ankabut. Surah Ankabut, verse 61. Surah Ankabut. Which number is that? The last one? Ankabut is. By the way, uh, while you guys are doing that, Surah Yunus here, this is what some of the commentaries say on this. Yeah? Some Meccans believe the idols belonging to the pre Islamic pantheon, Allah, Al Uzza, Al Manat would mm. intercede with God to rectify their affairs related to their livelihood in this world. Mm. But since the idols were lifeless, 
objects created from human hands, unlike what we say, they are rejected here in possessing neither harm nor benefit for those who worship them. And then there's other quotes from the Quran 576, 671. Rather, the Quran insists on to God belongs intercession altogether, which does not exclude the possibility that He will grant the power of intercession to others, such yeah. as the prophets and some of the saints. Yeah. Claim that the idols will intercede. Yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, with retro, no, yeah. don't say <laughs> How would you inform some? Wakar, you're bringing us some biased website now, you know. <laughs> no, it's not. This is the Quran commentary. What, go, go, this Google, this is Google Wakar. This is Tafsir. He's come, Gary, Gary, Gary Google number two. For which, 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 which uh, Tafsir? This is the study Quran Tafsir. <laughs> no, this one, this Tafsir yeah, is yeah, so, Tafsir. Don't bring me that Tafsir. No, 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 no. It's Tafsir for me. It's Imam Qurtabi, bro. It was an excellent discussion. I think you understood my point. It was very nice talking to you. I just wanted to rectify why are those conditions present and why has it become shirk after the Prophet Muhammad? Sure, sure. That's my homework. Your homework is how do you make the claim that the condition of niyyah has to be present in Surah Yunus where Allah says they worship things beside Allah worship. that which doesn't benefit it. them. You said yeah. it. Okay, now they worship. But, no, no, but look, they said these are just our intercessors. That's fine. That's so, the as far, so as far as I can, I know, I can make the claim that those pagans had the intention that Allah is the creator and they just using those as intercessors, just like you're doing. But you accept Wasila already. You I said that so long as the free conditions yes. are present, it's allowed. Now, are you so saying you are contradicting yourself? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. How, how no, no. Not? I'm saying that those pagans in that ayah, yeah, were calling upon other deities that did not meet those three conditions. And okay, so that's what you're yeah. saying. They did not meet those three conditions. They didn't meet those three conditions. That's my point of Iqtala. Yeah, yeah. Why? Where did you get these three conditions from? And yeah. Why does it become? Sh and so you're using that ayah to justify. Yeah. But after even, those even, three even, 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 even. Where does the three conditions come Baba. from? Okay, even if I was to disregard the three conditions, Allah is still saying that intercession, that type of intercession, when you call upon wasila. anyone else, was, wasila, or, I would say istighatha, because wasila tawassul is, um, is ambiguous. It could be permissible yes. or not permissible. Okay. Istighatha is what we're talking about. Istighatha, yeah? So, istighatha, I'm saying, according to the Quran, haram always. Istighatha. To ask them directly? Yes. I yes. agree. You agree? Yes, so thank you. So you agree. So you agree. I said you can't ask them directly in the sense that they are independent of God. Okay. So if someone says, Ya Ali, Madad. Brother, we spoke about it already. It's prolonged again. It's, 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 it's a long thing. It's a long thing. Anyway, it was not talking to you. To speak to you. It's fine. I'm the lock. Do you I'm bring me. I'll show you a dance, bro. Anyway, we'll yeah. discuss that later. <laughs> Nice brothers. Do, uh, do you bring me some tafasir upon this ayah, please? Inshallah. From the scholars. Shia scholars, yeah? Yeah, Shia scholars. So yeah. you have yeah. to research yeah. what the early the, scholars said. The three they, conditions. No, no, whether they, whether, what early scholars and all scholarship said, that these were independent. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sure. okay sure. Awesome. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There's nothing. Okay, he's going to cut the video, isn't he? He should close the video now, yeah. Black dunya all day. Black dunya all day. <laughs> <laughs> bring, your, bring your brother down sometime, man. I go by Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> Still running.